So Jerusalem is like a magnet that attracts people from the four corners of the earth and we are here in the heart of the city, in the heart of the Via Dolorosa, the way of the cross and I believe that God preserved his church for 2,000 years and uh, I picture it like a big volcano that erupted in the first century but now this volcano is dormant and now we are finding these jewels and it's time to polish these jewels so that they shine. We are in the heart of Jerusalem, the heart of the old city where to the left is the Jewish quarter, to the right is the Muslim quarter and this way is the Christian quarter and I want to show you the heart of the city the way of the cross if you look here at the minaret you can see the Muslim prayer symbol, call of prayer then you can see the menorah and the Jewish flag the synagogue, the Jewish symbol and of course to the right here you can see the cross and the church so in the heart of the city, in the heart of the way of the cross I believe Jesus came here, suffered and died for everyone for Muslims, Jews and Christians to make us one, to unite the people here because this is a very complicated struggle uh, politics mixed with religion it's between two nations who are demanding or living at the same territories and no one is ready to compromise so we will never have peace only the peace of God can prevail and can unite the people and we are the Christians who are in the middle we are the bridge who to connect these two nations together to show the love and the peace peace of Christ I'm going to give you an example or a story to really make it uh, more clear what I want to try to say it's like a husband and wife and they quarrel so much and they went to the rabbi and the wife said rabbi please help me this is what is going on please help me and she tells her story to the rabbi and you know what the rabbi answers you are right you are right now comes the turn of the husband and the husband comes to the rabbi and he tells him he's virgin and after the rabbi listens to the husband the rabbi is very wise he answers him you are also right now someone is watching the rabbi and he goes to the rabbi and says how come you say to the wife she is right and to the husband you are right and you know what the rabbi answers you are also right okay so here they're living together as one family and they have to compromise and that's the only way that they can live together in this city in Jerusalem uh, which sadly the struggle has been so long and I as a little boy growing in this city in the streets I'm gonna share with you a story how being a Christian in the middle and what I saw with my own eyes that I would never forget to show to show you how difficult and how the struggle is between the Muslims and the Jews in this city I was a little boy and I was holding my dad's hand walking in the streets like I walk today and I saw someone with a black jacket with a big knife has an orange hand I still can't remember it and I saw him jumping on someone and stabbing him in the back and running away and if something wrong is gonna happen this is where it's gonna happen people here hate, hate it's each other so much and that even in the heart of the Muslim quarter Jews walk down this way to go to the wall which I'm gonna show you the small wall and it's not wise if you are alone as a Jew to walk in this area this is where you're gonna be in trouble so until today this was like when I was a child 
Until today, this is an example of how the struggle is still going on in Jerusalem and it will not be solved. But until people's eyes get opened and know that the only way is through, through Christ, through our Savior who died for everyone here. That the only way we can get united in Jerusalem.